Hi there, Rory from Data Spinners here, and today I'm going to be going for a 10 minute game challenge. Uh, I'm going to be going to try and do the noughts and crosses game in 10 minutes. Now, this is actually, I think it might be my fourth attempt, it might even be my fifth, but anyway. So the idea is that I'm going to be building this, or something pretty close to this. Um, so a hit reset game, and if I go X and I start with X, then do O. Um, etc etc and that's your your noughts and crosses game I might as well finish it now Um it'll just be already a dumb move there and then goodness me X is one isn't that amazing Um so this is the noughts and crosses game Um and so the idea is that I w I've got two timers set up an eight minute timer and a ten minute timer the eight minutes is to give me a bit of a reminder Um and I have got an Excel spreadsheet here, so if you can imagine from a data perspective, each um, cell is um, uh, is is a row in a table, and they've all got codes and so on. And the na the reason for the state is so that we can um, is that we can have states as either blank image X or image um, image O, um, and then we've also um i've got some data assets here so um for example this is the grid i'll just fire this up um so that's the grid how exciting is that um and so i've got a uh, image o and i'll also as part of this exercise i will bring in the x um again just to show you how i do that so i think without further ado um this uh, this being my fourth or perhaps fifth attempt I'm gonna give it a go I'm gonna set the timers running and we're gonna see if we can do this in 10 minutes um, so I've got some I've got an evil formula to do part way through so it should be entertaining um, to see if that actually works so here goes my 10 minutes and my 8 minutes um, move on to the app I'm gonna go for a tablet layout app um, and I am gonna go on to here in fact that's what I did I prepared earlier um, and I'm going to go on to this thing here yeah go on to there we'll go new um, and then we're just going to do snip like that and I go file go save as uh, and I'm going to call it I uh, IMG X job done uh, we move back on to here and we're going to bring in our media which is um, these images here um which are sitting in this area here so we'll bring them all oh, bring them all in in one go that's nice um once we've done that we will go back onto here and we're going to go view data sources add data source we're going to go onto the excel um data source here we go and we need to find it which i'm pretty sure is on my desktop and uh, go onto this cells thing open it up there grab the table connect to the table uh, that's done and um, then we're going to need to bring in a button insert button this is my little reset thing where i create a collection so this is uh, reset reset game uh, good and then on select uh, clear collect um, into my game and what we're going to collect and we're going to bring in cells to that's fine and if we do that and press the go button set re and do reset game then we'll go into file collections and we'll see that we've got our games been brought in um, then what we're going to do is we are gonna just going to bring in some more media bring in the image um, and this is going to be our grid um, you can see I've done this before um, I'm going to pop that just down there to, for the moment um, the next thing I am going to do is I'm going to bring in a horizontal gallery um, and I'm going to uh, connect it to my game um, I'm going to put a border on this thing because I can never see what's going on here um, border uh, okay let's put it as three see what happens yeah it's actually going to do it good and um, we need to put a do a wrap on this as well we need to do a wrap count of three um, that's good um, and then what I'm going to do is going to go onto this title thing here and I am going to 
put change the y coordinate on that to be um let's just put it as 10 see what happens good that's lovely um and then this title subtitle i don't need you um back onto the title grab that go over to here um this image oh the, the image there is uh this item dot state okay good um and it's gonna that's a bit easier to see now which is excellent uh, you can see that we've got our grid thing going on, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that, uh, and I can see what's going on here. You can start to see that we've got the makings of something going on here. Um, I will now grab this. Okay, it's starting to get quite neat here. I know that the rows and columns aren't aren't quite right, but it doesn't it doesn't matter too much. Uh, I need to insert two buttons now. So insert da 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 right uh, button. Okay, that um, and this is going to do uh, set x and on this on select uh, set. Uh, this is a global variable, JBS state, um, to be IMG X, and then I'm going to whack in an image, um, da -da -da, media image, um, pop it over here, and this is going to be um, uh, GV state which won't have anything in to begin with and then if we go onto the play thing there and set x then we've got it as x that's great um, and then we'll do set y um, down here I say y I shouldn't have said that um, I should have set set uh, noughts um, and hello that's good and good now that will work so that's fine i'm happy with that um so next thing i need to do is i need to do a patch thing and that is just a work of evil so um we're doing on select thing here um on select um patch we're going to patch it into my game good um and what we're going to patch um uh first don't ask me to explain this uh filter um my game Come on, my my game um where code equals this item dot code and into that let's close those down into that we're gonna put um uh we're gonna change the state to be um g v state close that record down. And you know what? This might actually work. Um, so let's see what happens on that. So we're going to go into this play thing here. Set it as X. And then if I click on this. Oh my God, that actually worked. Okay, good. Um, so what I'm going to do on that now is I'm going to pop this up here. Move that down there. I'm going to make these a bit smaller. I'll need to move. Uh, okay, fine. Home, uh, align. Uh, reorder send to back good um now what I'm going to do is I'm going to squidge these in a bit good 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 at least I can see what's going on now um move that across now I get a bit finicky with these so I think I might be able to get away with that move that down I don't like it when they kind of like touch each other because they um they make them disappear and stuff so I think what I can do now is I can possibly I can possibly I've, I've just about done actually in reality um so I think we are just about done um let's put a little title in I haven't even got to my two minute um check let's have a just check of the timer look at that that's great um back onto there um okay so we're gonna go um uh, let's put a fill on this um background background fill oh I can't remember how to do that one surely you can just get there we are fill let's go with black uh, grey good pretty close isn't it um we go with insert um we're gonna go with the label um let's just go uh noughts and crosses good um Whack that over there. We're going to go onto there. We're going to go fill. Come on. Fill. And then we're going to go white. 
and then we're going to go size and let's pump it up to I don't know let's say 30 uh, good noughts and crosses um, and let's see if we can do you know what I'm going to get rid of this bit here as well don't need you anymore goodbye uh, okay there's my two minute timer okay that's good okay to that um, and I'm going to this thing just feels like it needs to move over a touch. Uh, I'm going to remove the border on this. Goodbye. Uh, set it at zero. Um, good. And we are pretty well there. Um, so uh, let's just do a quick timer check. So now we've got one minute 30. I think I'm actually done at this point. So um, hit the play button. Set X. Uh, okay, well, it's O to go next. Um, and that's fine. Uh, set x and of course this is a bit of a pain because so what i'm going to do on that is i'm going to go onto there um and then i'm going to do if um gv state oh, state equals um img x i know img x then um set gv state oh, state um equals to i m oh i m g uh zero otherwise otherwise um set it as should work um put it as x and this should flip it round so set x and what i'm okay good 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 reset game okay we're on x at the moment o x O X. Awesome. Um yeah, and you can see that little thing just creeping around there. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm done. I've got thirteen seconds to go and I have done noughts and crosses on power apps in ten minutes. Thanks.